here we have another intermediate problem involving geometric sequences. And the first terms of a geometric sequence can be described by x minus 4, x, and x plus 12. Given this, determine the value of x, as well as the numeric value of the first three terms. So we're going to have to solve for x first. And how can we do that? Well, well, we know that the first three terms of this geometric sequence are these. And take a look here. If we have a1, the first term, to get the second term, we need to multiply by r. Right, so we get a1 times r. Now the third term, so that's the first, second, third term, will be just a1 times r times r again. So a1 times r squared. Now, note one thing. If we have a geometric sequence, the value of r is always the same. Right? Well, it can't change. Otherwise, it's no longer a geometric sequence. So, r is either going to be the second term divided by the previous. So, we can have x divided by x minus 4. Or... Well, and it's also going to be equal to the third term divided by the second term. So x plus 12 divided by x. So what I can do is make an equation out of this, forget about this, and just solve for x, because r is equal to r. Isn't that great? Yeah. Okay, now, what do we do? We can cross multiply. Essentially, I'll multiply both sides by x, so that I cancel this x here out. x divided by x is 1, so that goes away. So we get x squared, x times x, x squared. We also multiply both sides of the equation by x minus 4. Well, this is becoming a mess, but x minus 4 cancels over there. We multiply this by x minus 4 as well. So we end up with x squared is equal to x squared, sorry, to x plus 12 times x minus 4. Then I can foil this and expand it x times x is x squared, x times negative 4 is negative 4x, 12 times x, 12x, and 12 times negative 4, negative 48. And the x squared is still here. Now we just need to solve for x. So let's subtract x squared from both sides of the equation. So these just cancel out, we end up with 0 equals, those cancel out too, negative 4x plus 12x is 8x, we bring down the negative 48. Then I can just subtract 8x from both sides. I end up with negative 8x. Negative 8x is equal to negative 48. Then we can just divide both sides by negative 8. So x is going to be equal to positive 6 because negative 48 divided by negative 8 is positive 6. Negative, negative, they make a positive. Great, so now that we have found x, we can find the numeric values of the first three terms. The first one will be 6 minus 4, because x minus 4 is 6 minus 4, which is 2. And the second term is just x, which is 6. And the third term will be x plus 12, so 6 plus 12, which is 18. That's it.